In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn white into any colour in PhotoP. So you first want to make a selection of your object. You can do this by using whatever method you want. You can use the pen tool, the magic wand tool, the quick selection tool, you can use whatever. But in this case, I'm going to be using a quick selection tool. So I'm going to go over to my magic wand icon over here, right click that and click quick selection. I'm just going to click on the shirt. And Photop has kind of recognized which areas are a part of which. However, it's not perfect as there are still some areas of the shirt, like over here and here, which I would like to be added into my selection, but Photop hasn't recognized that it's a part of the shirt. So to fix this, I'm just going to make my brush smaller by pressing the left bracket, and I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and just drag, just like this. So basically, shift adds into your selection, but however, now we've just selected like the jeans and the arm and that's not what we want. So I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and just take it back because I do not want to change the colour of these. I just only want to change the colour of the shirt. So I'm just going back over here just like this. And sometimes the quick selection tool isn't the best because um, it will still select areas which you don't want to be selected. So for a more precise um, I recommend using the lasso select tool, so it's above the quick selection tool right here. So click that and you want to hold down shift on your keyboard and just drag. And you just want to go around whatever you want to add into your selection and make sure you're still holding shift on your keyboard and release. So that adds it into your selection, but to take stuff away from your selection you just want to do the same thing but this time hold alt. So I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard drag I'm still holding alt and release so that takes that area away from my selection so to save time I've already made my own selection um, but yeah when you finish making your selection one thing I recommend is going to select at the top modify and expand and expand it to one pixel only so come up with this and just make sure it's one and press ok so this widens the area that you select just by one pixel because if we zoom in over here, I've done that, there are tiny pixels at the edge which Photop wouldn't recognize and then it would, the changing of the color wouldn't be that realistic. So make sure you do that, it's a really helpful tip. So now once you've finished with all your selection, you want to go over to these icons at the bottom right and you want to go over to the icon which is half white and half black. And this is called your new adjustment layer. So click that and click color fill. And these are where you can pick your colors. So you can pick whatever color you want and just press OK. But this doesn't look realistic at all. It's just a solid color fill layer. So to make this much more realistic and apply it actually on the shirt, you want to go over to this option over here. So it will say normal, but these are called your blend modes. So just click this and then click linear burn and as you can tell it looks way more realistic um, because you can see the folds and the creases and the color is actually on the shirt and um, one thing I really do recommend is if I zoom in you can see that the edges of the blue is really harsh and to make it smoother you just want to go over to this raster mask so where my mouse is hovering over double click that and click mask at the top and make sure it's on this menu and where it says feather you can just adjust it so you don't want to do too much so I'm just going to see what 2 looks like and as you can tell that's made it's a small change but it makes such a big difference because it makes it a lot more smoother and realistic as well so if you want to change the color of your shirt again you can do that by just double clicking on the solid color fill layer and then you can just change the colors um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I hope it helped you. Bye!